This is my 1983 Honda VT500 Ascot converted to 72 volt electric. The way you charge it is open that box, take your cord, plug it in there, make sure the BMS is on, that light should be lit, and then press this button right here charger will start running. The charger is right up underneath the gas tank. The bottom has been cut out of the gas tank so it's hollow now and then the charger is mounted up on top of the frame there. When it's finished charging normally uh, if, it, if the batteries are way down it takes uh, three or four hours to charge it. Just turn off the BMS unplug it, want the BMS on for riding, make sure the green light comes on, close the lid. Inside here are all the electronics, the contactor, the 72 volt to 12 volt converter, uh, there's a fuse there, and of course the BMS. That's the battery bank there. Got 24 40 amp hour Thunder Sky cells. And this is just a, a pad here to, in case rocks fly up or anything to protect the batteries. They're strapped together with end plates. Shaft drive, super quiet. It's got new tires. Still has a center stand, side stand, stock mirrors. Um, I didn't need the tack or the speedometer so much anymore, so I just went with something nice and small. This is a uh, bicycle. Uh, speedometer works fine. It's an odometer and a speedometer and the pickup for it is right here On the front wheel. There's the sensor right there So as far as operating it goes just uh, hop on it And we already turned the BMS on, but if, if it weren't on, you just reach down here, turn it on, close the lid, and turn it on here. I've got a little light, warning light, right here that will come on if any of the battery cells get low, or if something's not connected properly, that light will come on. So the only time I've ever seen it is, you know, on a long ride, you know, 25, 30 miles, and I give it too much throttle, that light will come on because one of the cells gets low. So uh, no, no clutch lever, just throttle. And as you can see, very, very quiet shaft drive. And accelerates just like a regular motorcycle. So that's just a quick little ride to show you how it operates. Of course, I won't take it on the freeway and film, but the fastest I've had it to was 68. And it, it maybe would have gone a little bit faster, but that was fast enough for me. I didn't feel like I needed to go any faster on it. Um, so it'll, you know, it'll run right up to 60, no problem.
Uh, it's a good bike. Thank you.